are shops that run on nothing but goodwill and hard work. But Australia's op shops need a hand, and this week the call's gone out for all of us to do our bit. Average daily, we probably would have five or six hundred people come through our doors, and you could probably double that on the Saturday. There are 2,000 charity op shops across Australia. This is our furniture section. Um, obviously, your dressing tables and uh, your pillows and all your, your wardrobes, bedside tables, that kind of thing. Our ladies apparel, so we've got um, basically anything from pants, skirts, jackets. We do meet some people that are, are, are in serious need of help and um, are really at the, the lowest point of their life. So we get a lot of satisfaction out of helping those people. The Salvation Army started Australia's first op shop in the 1880s. They take a horse and cart and go around the streets and they would collect furniture and go and sell it again. So I guess our first store was a mobile store. Today, 250,000 tonnes of items are donated to charity shops every year. 90,000 tonnes are sold or given to the needy. The rest, either broken down and recycled, exported to developing countries, or are so damaged they have to be thrown away. Oh, I think you're helping people. That's one of the main things, that's why we do it. It's just rewarding. 85-year-old Dorothy Bainbridge has been volunteering at St Vinnie's Epping store in Sydney for 32 years. There's always something different in the shop and that's amazing what comes into the St Vinnie's and it does a lot of good for people. I know where a lot of the money goes to. Sales from second-hand clothes made up 40% of St Vincent's revenue last year and pumped between 40 and $50 million into the salvos. All money that goes straight back into the community. But while demand is booming, donated stock is at a record low. In difficult times, people uh, hang on to things longer, particularly furniture. We, we find that in these times, our furniture donations are extremely low. And I think it's because people are making the lounge suite do another year. In a bid to get much-needed donations flowing, Op Shop Week was launched this week. Australians have literally billions of dollars worth of unworn clothes just lying unused in their wardrobes. And one of the best things you can do with those is to take them down to your nearest charity op shop. But it's not just donations. Op shops say it's time more Australian shoppers gave them a go. We get people from all walks of life diverse groups from young people through to aged people. The dirty old mouldy smelling op shop is definitely not what it is today. The reality is sometimes you take good things for granted. We just need to remind ourselves why it is that we need to help these kind of organisations. Just go home and you just feel, feel a little bit special. I've had grown men cry in front of me just because we've helped them so much and, and just you know your hair's raised in the back of your neck and you just feel so proud. <laughs> my daughter, three-year-old, almost exclusively from op shop, because I'm really tight. And uh, no, she's a three-year-old. She loves dresses and she trashes them all the time. So you can get so much great stuff. Some of it's brand new, sensible mother. What's your going, what's your going rate for a, a, a three-year-old's dress at an op? Mate, I bought four dresses for 20 bucks the other day. Right. Oh, I don't even have a kid not going to buy something. Yeah, I know. Well, and the best thing, you know, you don't have to dress up to go shopping there. <laughs>